Originally, the property where the store is sitting today belonged to my grandfather. Uh, I bought the store from my father in 1992, lock, stock, and barrel. I believe in prepared foods, quality, everything made from scratch. It's kind of a tradition to come by Cormie's when you go fishing and, and get a good BLT or a breakfast sandwich and go fishing. It's kind of a ritual. 1.30 in the morning, I get a call from my son. He was just uh, out of control. He was saying, Dad, uh, the store's on fire. Fire chief came over and told me, uh, we can't save it, Mr. Corman. I was wondering, what do we do next? Where do you go from here? The best scenario for me would have been to find somebody that would carry this concept and take this thing and, and run with it and develop it. Berkshire Brothers had a great opportunity to partner with Merle and come back and rebuild the building as you see it now. We'd like to keep the consistency of the superior quality of the product that Merle and his family uh, has implemented here. We're working more into what I'd call a superette, such as Cormies and Lake Charles. It's a perfect vehicle for the Taylor equipment, using the beverage equipment as well as the grill in the kitchen. Service is what we do. That is our first and foremost thing that we pride ourselves at TFG. We got to be able to get a hold to somebody that can get back to us in a timely manner so we have no business interruption. It is very important to provide technical support to the customers and that is our top priority. I've been very impressed with the level of service that we've received from, from Taylor. We make sure to take care of the customers. They're number one. That grill, what it has done for this particular location, it has allowed them to speed up the process of cooking. The deli sales in this store represents between 50 and 60 percent of total store sales. It was quite a demand on such a small little bitty operation with a flat grill inside of it. The three platen grill really took it to a next level. We go through about 50 pounds of bacon a day. It may have taken a lot longer to produce uh, our bacon or to produce our hamburgers. Uh, now with the, with the Taylor products, we're able to rapidly produce those uh, much faster than what we were before, uh, enabling us to serve more customers. My job is educating the customer on um, profitability. This particular location, with the addition of the soft serve machine and the shake machine, it has become the highest volume location as far as dairy products in this area. What can we add to their store that's unique, that's different, that will make them stand out? It's a high profit item. Um, with us adding Flavor Burst to it, it makes them really the only game in town that has that ability to offer so many different flavors. You know, you have people buying the same product for years and years. You want to keep the same quality. You can go out and do a cheaper version of it, and it will probably put you more money on the bottom line at first, but eventually that comes back and gets you on the back side. The best quality is, is the best deal. We look at long-term cost of ownership. The purchase price is important, but you have to also factor in the long-term maintenance and the uh, longevity of the equipment. I would like to carry on my recipes I would like the community to be satisfied that they have the same Cormies back. They want that uniqueness of this store. We really look forward to a long lifetime of using this equipment and this operation and more to come.